I was recently asked by somebody called Jashan to integrate x cubed cosine x with respect to x. He also asked me to give the answer today. Now, unfortunately, I missed that deadline. Very sorry. But hopefully this will point you in the right direction. So on the, on the left hand side over here, I've got the integral of x cubed cosine x dx. Over on the right hand side here, I've just got the integration by parts rule. And we're going to have to apply that several times. So hopefully you can follow along, take it steady, pause the video, go through it once or twice if you need to. OK, so applying integration by parts in the first step. Grab a different colored pen and I'm going to say let u equal x cubed. And du by dx, just differentiating that, du by dx will be 3x squared. The dv by dx, well, that is going to be equal to cosine x. And when I integrate that to get v, that will be sine x. So hopefully that's fairly straightforward for you. Okay, so what I have therefore then is that the integral of x cubed cosine x with respect to x is equal to, and this is where I'm following this integration by parts formula. It says it's equal to u multiplied by v, which is x cubed sine x minus the integral of v du dx. So that would be 3x squared sine x with respect to x. Now, hopefully you can see, I'm going to have to apply integration by parts again on this integral over here. Okay, let's grab a different colored pen and we can see what we're doing here. So I'm going to let u equal 3x squared. Uh, differentiate again, so du by dx, well, that will be equal to 6x. And dv by dx, that's going to be equal to sine x. And when I integrate that to get v, that will be negative cosine x. Okay, well, this part here, I can just copy that and paste it down here. That saves me writing it out again. Okay, so now we're doing this bit here. All right, so it's minus u multiplied by v, which will be negative 3x squared cosine x minus the integral of v du dx, so that would be negative 6x cosine x with respect to x. Now let me go ahead and tidy things up a bit here. So I've still got this bit here, so I'll just copy that and just paste that underneath again. Okay, these two negatives here will make a positive, so I'm going to have that as a positive, 3x squared cosine x. Okay, now these two negatives here will be a positive, but then I'm multiplying by this negative here. So I end up with a negative. So negative, then we've got the integral of 6x cosine x dx. So it's just a case really of being careful with all these positives and negatives. And once again, I'm going to have to apply integration by parts on this part here. Okay, so all of this remains as it is. So I'll copy and paste again. Okay, and now I'm integrating this part here using integration by parts. And what I need to do again is I need to let u, so let u equal 6x. And therefore, let me just move that down a bit. Okay, u is 6x, so du by dx is going to be equal to 6. And dv by dx, well, that is cosine of x. And integrating that, v will be sine x. Okay, popping all that in, so we're going to do minus the integral of v du dx. So that is 6x sine x minus the integral of v du dx, which is 6 sine x with respect to x. 
Now, hopefully you can see, I don't need to apply integration by parts again on this. That's quite a simple integral to perform. But let me just go ahead and tidy things up a bit. So we've still got this bit here. So I'll just copy all of that again and we'll paste it down here. Okay, now we've got this negative 6x sine x. So that's negative 6x sine x. Now this negative here and this one would be a positive, but I know when I integrate a sine x, I will get a negative cosine x. So three negatives in total there, so the answer is going to be negative. And integrating 6 sine x is 6 cosine x. Oh, not with respect to x, but plus our constant of integration. Now I can simplify things a little bit here because I've got a sine x term here and here. So that will simplify to x cubed minus 6x. And that's multiplied by sine x. I can also see that I have a cosine x term here and a cosine x term here. So that's plus 3x squared minus 6 multiplied by cosine x and then just plus the constant of integration.